so we'll open it up for uh, Q and A. Um, remember that uh, please be polite with your questions. Questions end with question marks, and please be mindful of uh, the time mm -hmm. of others. Uh, I'll start with you. Um, okay, so we had a pack of lies there, and none of this has ever been revealed before. Britain should apologise. Britain should apologise for the Balfour Declaration. Britain should apologise because it should have been put into effect ten years earlier. Think of the millions of lives that would have been saved if the Balfour Declaration had been implemented ten years earlier. This is a pack of lies. It's undocumented. You won't find any proper sources. How dare this man talk about he says the Jewish agency was against the Marshall Plan. I've never heard such a load of rubbish. If that was the case, if that was the case, why has it not been revealed this far? Why does it take an American violinist, an American violinist who is not even a historian? To reveal it. Why? Why does it take an American violinist? Or is there a historian? Please have a seat. Please have a seat. Answer my question, you Please bastard. have a seat. I will add that approximately the last quarter to a third of this book is citation, 95% of the citation. Elan Pape, from Jenny to Tom. You're gonna, to, you're gonna have to be quiet. You're not convincing anyone with Elan Pape and Jenny Tong, they're your people who recommended your book. Jenny Tong was chucked out the Liberal Party last week. She loved your book. Elan Pape, the lying historian, he loves your book. <laughs> Acting like a clown is not going to convince anyone. You're a violinist, you're not a historian. No matter what you believe, you're doing this purely for yourself. You're making a clown of yourself. No one is being convinced. You're doing this purely for yourself. So this is not the way to argue your point. No this is anti-Semitic dribble. That's fine, that's fine. No one's going to get convinced. Racist dribble in SOAS. Thank you. The racist dribble. <laughs>